no idea how excited I am for today's video. We have not done a proper bookstore vlog, and I'm talking like me and you at our bookstore. We haven't done that since like November 2023. Y'all, it's almost April. That's insane. So today we are going to our bookstore and the weather's really beautiful today. I feel like spring is taking its time to get here, but no matter what, I'm prepared for spring. I even spent all of my day yesterday after work cleaning. I spent over six hours, I think exactly six hours, cleaning my entire apartment. Granted, I still live with my family, so it's not gonna last long, but I was really proud of myself. So today I just wanna treat myself and go to the bookstore. I'm looking for like romance for the summertime, something light, something fluffy, because I don't know, recently I've just been in my head a lot and I haven't been all the way myself. So I feel like some happy fluffy reads is exactly what we need today. And we're also gonna go to the library because I have to drop off that book that I got from Ah, uh, yes, the New York City vlog. Um, they have a little free library there, so I'm just gonna give it to someone there and then see if they have anything that we can take home. So if you're ready, I am too. Let's get going. But y'all know we have to do a fit check. Y'all know we have to do a fit check. First of all, the bow, the shirt, matching. And then I have a little bit of color for spring. Don't I look like a little Easter egg? And I did like very light, clean girl makeup. You love to see it. All right, I'm done talking about myself. Let's go. Also, these these pants are kind of tight, so we're not gonna be doing much bending and stuff. Come on. But first, I would love to thank today's sponsor, which is Pear Eyewear. Pear Eyewear is an incredible eyeglass company where I got these lovely guys. This pair is the Otis. This is so cute, but they're clear. And that's not all, guys. I wear them because they're blue light glasses, but they also have prescription glasses if you need. I don't personally need them, but I just think they're really cute. And y'all, you can change the tops. Ah! This one is my absolute favorite. This is, if you can't tell, from freaking Harry Potter. They have a Harry Potter collection. This is the Marauders map one. In that collection, you can also pick one that shows you like what house you're in and stuff like that, but I just thought these were the cutest. And then I also got this Cherry Coke one, which I just think is perfect for summer. It's just super cute. And last but not least, I got this tortoiseshell one. And you can literally change them. Ah! You can literally change them anytime you want. It's just so freaking cute. I love this one because as I'm reading Harry Potter, y'all know this, I just feel like I'm in the book. Like I'm figuring out what Harry's figuring out. I'm a part of the team. We're trying to stop Voldemort together. That's how I feel. And this one's just like, oh, I'm just a romance girly. And this one's like, no, I'm a serious academic. You know what I'm saying? Like they're all so cute and there's so many to choose from from their website. It's actually super easy. All you have to do is pick your base frame and then once you pick your base frame, what type of prescription you want, you can also add the top frames, which are these bad boys. And they have so many to choose from. I highly recommend you giving them a shot. And if you do, I do have a link down below in the description box, which will give you 15% off your first pair. And it's already super affordable, but with that, it's just like, why wouldn't you do it? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So again, thank you so much Pear Eyewear for sponsoring this portion of the video and definitely use the link down below to get yourself a pair as well. Now let's get back to the video. All right guys, we made it to Barnes. You have no idea. No idea how excited I am to be here. It feels like forever. I've literally have not been here in months. Oh my God, like six months. Cause what, Monday is the 1st of April? Yeah, it's been like six months since I've been to my Barnes and Noble, which is absolutely criminal. I don't know how this has happened, but again, like we did go to bookstores in New York City, but there's nothing like your home Barnes and Noble, so. I'm very happy to be here. I will say in the summertime, even though I love our barns, obviously, I'm never gonna stop coming here. I do wanna explore like other bookstores, other maybe like private owned bookstores or just like homegrown bookstores, you know what I mean? Like not just the franchises. So I think that's what we'll do this summer, but I am definitely happy to see our beautiful friend here. Look at her, just shining in the spring light. Like, okay. So happy to be here. Anyway, um, as I mentioned before, we have one goal in mind, 
and that is to find romance books. <sighs> I don't know. I've just been reading Harry Potter as y'all know. I know you are sick and tired of me talking about Harry Potter, but that is all I've been reading. But I've also been reading some like heavier uh, literary fiction and I love those. Those are like, that's just my bread and butter, but it has left me with a heavy feeling and I just feel like with everything I have going on in my life currently, I just need something where I can just escape into the happy, fluffy nonsense of it all. So that's the goal today. That's the kind of book we're looking for. Also, I, can't, I can't stop looking at my little bow. I swear, every time I put a bow in my hair, I immediately feel like a fairy princess. I feel like I'm from a land far, far away and I have a dragon and a knight in shining armor a knight in shining armor <laughs> every single time I wear a bow it's just so cute I just think it's also perfect for spring too like it's also way more packed than I thought it would be again this is like Easter weekend so I just figured people would be at home but everybody outside so <laughs> I guess we're gonna join in and see what we can do make sure you're drinking water also like and subscribe Taking my sweet time to get out this gosh dang mother freaking car. Hurry up, girl. I've literally been sitting in this parking lot for at least 10 minutes. All right, I'm ready. Literally, as I said, that someone just watched me film. Anyway, we're about business today. We're looking for romance.
supposed to be looking for romance, but look what I found. This is the second book to The House in the Cerulean Sea, and you know how much I loved it. So I have to get it. I don't know what it is, but it's so hard to find a good romance right now. I've been looking for like an hour and I can't find any that I'm like really interested in. This is Never by Jessa Hastings. She also wrote uh, Magnolia Parks, but this is like a Peter Pan spinoff and it's supposed to be romance. Should I get it? I feel like I need to ask Shaughnessy. I don't know, we'll think about it. We just made it back from the bookstore. I cannot believe how hard of a time I had. I usually can find so, y'all know, I can usually find so many books, but I only left today with five books. That is egregious. I cannot believe that. Even Victoria was like working overtime trying to help me find some books and we could not find any good books. She did tell me like there were some that they didn't have that I can maybe look and check for at the library that like fits the vibe that I was looking for, which is just very light, fluffy romance. But still, I cannot believe we only have five books from Barnes and Noble. Me, me, only five books. Either I'm a changed woman or I just don't know what I'm looking for anymore. But granted, like we haven't been here in so long, so maybe I'm just, you know, out of touch. But wow, I'm like flabbergasted. The flabbers are gassed. Gapsed. <laughs> All right, let's go to the bookstore. <laughs> Sorry, the library. <laughs> I don't know why I have the sillies, but um, we're going to the library. Serious face now. The weather also got much better. It was freezing when I first came here. It was like, mm, maybe like 30 degrees, but now it's like 60, so I like it. Spring is really finally starting to come, finally. Oh, <gasps> I forgot to show you. I also got another tote bag. To be honest, I think they forgot that they gave me one already because I already have a blue tote bag from Barnes & Noble, but <laughs> I wasn't gonna remind them. <laughs> And now I have this gold one. It says, a bag of books. Now I almost have a tote bag in every color. I love it. I think this is gonna be the new thing that I start collecting. <gasps> There's a little pocket in here. You love to see it. This is definitely gonna be like my beach bag, I think. I just love being out. I think it's like the weather that's getting me hyped now. Cause before I was like, not moody, but like ugh, just not really in it. But now that the sun is shining, I saw my girl Victoria. I have some like summer reads. Now I'm feeling good. Maybe it was just the seasonal depression. <laughs> Who knows? All right, let's get out of here, kids. <laughs> I just put the car in reverse, ciao. Y'all got me this new car and I don't know how to act. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> We're at the library and I realized the last time we filmed at the library was like a year ago.
for at least a bookstore vlog. We have gone for like productivity vlogs and stuff like that, but man, I am slipping. I need to really get it together because I love this library. It's so big, there's so many different kinds of books and it's just really beautiful. Like they took their time with this library and I feel like I don't like appreciate it enough or take advantage of it enough. So this year we're definitely gonna do that. Um, again, my goal is to find romance. Let's see if it can happen. Um, I'm not really sure if we can just because I don't really know this library like that for the books. Like I do know my favorite study areas and stuff like that. I just haven't really sat down and really explored this library to know where everything is. So it may be another dud, but I am very hopeful. Also the um, free little library is right next door too. So we're going to get rid of Beach Read right now. And I checked it. Guys, all the books that we put in there last time, gone. So we really made somebody's day, hopefully a few somebody's day. And that just makes me so happy. Um, I hope again, this is another book that someone else will love. Um, and we'll just see what happens. Let's go. Also y'all, I just parked next to a really big, um, like flowering tree and there are so many bees in it. I am so scared to get out of this car right now. Um, but we're going to give it a try. <laughs> I don't think I'm allergic to bees, but I really don't want to find out. <laughs> serving librarian today because baby we are
go to the library. I'm like pleasantly surprised and today was no different. I cannot believe how many good books I was able to get. As I suspected though, they had a lot more than I thought they did and then not only that, I got even more and I felt even more confident than I did at Barnes & Noble, which is just insane because y'all know how much I love Barnes. But let's go through what we got today. Also, this bag, she's a caper. She is so cute. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a Barnes bag too. And if so, do we have the same one? Because she is a vibe. I am definitely gonna wear this as much as possible. I have been wearing the one that we got from the Strand like every day, so then I wanted to switch it up and I had no idea I was gonna get this bag today, so I'm very happy. All right, let's start with what we got from Barnes. I got a few surprising ones, I feel. Very happy with what I got. All right, number one, Under the Whispering Door. Now, as I mentioned in the store, this is the same author of A House in the Cerulean Sea. So of course I had to get it, but I heard that it's not like a duology. It's just like a different book. Um, but I also heard very good things. So I'm not really worried about this one. I know he's a good author, so I'm excited to read this one. Ooh, I'm very excited to talk about this one. So this is very different for me. This isn't like the kind of book that I would usually read, but it just sounded so good that I was like, you know what, let's just give it a try. So this is called The Bright Side Running Club. Now this is about a woman who just got diagnosed with cancer, unfortunately, and she just joins a running club and they all have like really different personalities and they're all really funny and she hasn't told her family yet that she has this diagnosis um, but she's trying to like avoid that and just still find the bright side of life and I don't know I just love people who find the positive side of everything and try to push through whatever issue that they're having and it just sounds like the perfect book for me so I am very excited about this and I heard that it's very funny um, so we'll see how that goes. Now let's get to the romance books that I got. As I mentioned in the store, I don't know what it was but I was having a rough time finding some romance books. I don't know um, but obviously Victoria saved our lives today. <laughs> As soon as she saw me, she was like, you know what, let me put my stuff down, let me talk to you for a second. And it was nice because, again, I haven't been there since, like, November. So it was really nice to see everyone again. They all remember me. Um, and they were all just so kind and so helpful. So I was just, ah, I was just happy to be there. I love my local barns. I don't know what happened. I don't know why I haven't been. But we cannot go that long without going back. We just can't. So this is what she helped me out with. She told me about Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. And of course, we already read that last year. And I said that and then she was like, okay, well, did you read the do-over? And I said, no. So this is the do-over. This is actually really cute. And if you don't know the story yet, the do-over is about this girl. She has a horrible Valentine's Day and she goes to blow off some steam at her grandma's house and she takes a nap. And when she wakes up, she wakes up back in her house and she has the same Valentine's Day over and over again. So you get the gist. She just relives her horrible Valentine's Day over and over again. And she sees her boyfriend cheat on her over and over again. That's crazy. But then there's also obviously another love interest that she finally falls for. And it just sounds really adorable. It sounds like the exact light and fluffy read that we were looking for. You'll love to see it. Next is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute. I have seen this book everywhere. I am so late to the party, it's not even funny. I feel like I'm always late to the party. I don't know what it is about me and like staying on top of trends, but like, I am always late to whatever new book everyone's talking about. But we finally have it. Now this book is an enemies to lovers and you know I love enemies to lovers and I've heard really great things about Talia Hibber, I think. Yeah, Talia Hibbert. Uh, she's a black author too, so I'm very excited about this. But this story is about two people, they used to be friends before high school. And of course the guy's like the all-American football player, he's super popular, blah, blah, blah. And he stops talking to the girl, Celia, I think. Celine, my bad. Celine in high school and he becomes like really cool. But then they do like this outdoor adventure thing together and then they obviously have to work together. And so it's like a frenemies situation, which you know I love. So I'm hoping that this is the exact summer vibe book that I was looking for. And last but not least is This Could Be Us by Kennedy Ryan. Now this is the second book in the duology for, what was the first one? This is embarrassing because I was supposed to be reading it. <laughs> so I should definitely know the name um, before I let go. Okay, it finally clicked. All right, I don't wanna hear nothing. 
Before I Let Go. This is the second book of Before I Let Go. And this came out this year and Shaughnessy actually told me that she read this and she said it was incredible. So I'm excited to read this and actually finish the first one because I started it, but I never finished it because again, Harry Potter has me at a chokehold. I cannot wait to finish this last book. It's gonna be bittersweet for sure because I just had such a blast reading this series, but also there are so many other books that I wanna read and I just, I like can't be all consumed in this one series. I just can't, especially as a booktuber, like I need to read other books and I'm telling myself that, but like the chokehold it has on me, it's just crazy. It is crazy. I cannot pick up another book. Every time I do pick up another book, I immediately want to go back and read Harry Potter, so I just cannot wait to read this last book. I'm going to be happy that I'm enjoying the last book, but I'm also going to think about the future and really think about all the other books that I really want to read because there are a few really good books that I want to read. All right, so that's all we got from Barnes. Now, let me show you the bounty we got from my local library. This is a sign to go to your local library. I got so many good ones. Oh my God, y'all. I'm gonna save the one that I'm most excited about for the end. Ooh, okay, we'll start with this one. So this is The Godparent Trap. I've never heard of this author. Her name is Rachel Van Dyke, and this book just sounds super cute. So this is about two people who are the godparents of some children, and unfortunately those children's parents pass away, and so they obviously have to take care of these children. And I think it's an enemies to lovers situation, and it just sounds really adorable. It's obviously supposed to remind you of The Parent Trap, but I'm very excited to read this. It sounds super cute. <gasps> then I got The Night Circus. Now this book is super, super popular. Uh, I cannot believe it was at the library. They had so many like recent books. I was genuinely surprised, genuinely. They had Murakami, they had The Convenience Store Woman, they had so many romance books. It was crazy. And there were also like parts of the library that I've never even been to and then I explored today and I'm just genuinely flabbergasted because I've gone there so many times to study and I just never went to that other side. What is wrong with me? I think honestly, <laughs> I'm just a creature of habit. If I find one thing that I like, I'm just gonna stick to that one thing. And it's a good and bad thing because I just like consistency, but then it keeps me from seeing and exploring other things that I wouldn't have tried before. So it was really nice to see this part of my library, but it definitely makes me wanna do this more because it's like, how many other things am I missing out on, you know? Anyway, I got the Night Circus. I've heard really great things. It's supposed to be like a fantasy, romantic -y thing. So these two kids, they work at a really magical circus, right? That travels the world. And they're training for this event, I believe. And they don't know this, but only one person can win. And instead of being very competition-esque, they think of it as like a collaboration and they try to work together. And as they work together, they fall in love. And then they don't realize at the end, obviously, that only one person can win. So it just sounds really cute. Um, I've heard really great things about it. So we'll see how it goes. Then I picked up this one, which is 24 Hours in Paris. This is also an author that I've never heard of, Rami Mundi. Um, but this is about a girl who broke off her engagement, runs off to Paris, and then she finds some guy that she falls in love with, which is just Hallmark S, perfect, exactly what I was looking for. And you know what's crazy? This is a Wattpad book. <laughs> uh, this can either go two ways. This is gonna be amazing or it's gonna be nuts in the worst way. So we'll see how it goes. And last but not least, this is the one I am most excited about. I've never heard this author, but the premise is so good. It's like so right up my alley. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? I bet you've never heard of it before. I bet you. I bet you. All right, ready? The Summer Seekers by Sarah Morgan. Okay, listen to this back. Tell me this book wouldn't captivate you too. Tell me. Are you ready? Kathleen is 80 years old. After having a run with an intruder, her daughter wants her to move into a residential home, but she's not having any of it. She craves an adventure. Then, Liza is drowning in daily stress of family life. The last thing she needs is her mother jetting off for a wild holiday, making Liza long for a solo summer of her own. Then insert Martha. Martha is having a quarter-life crisis. She's unemployed, unloved, and uninspired. <laughs> 
<laughs> Baby, I feel you, Martha. <laughs> she just can't get her life together, but she knows something has to change. When Martha sees Kathleen's advertisement for a driving companion to share an epic road trip across America with, she decides that this job is the perfect answer to her prayers. She's not the world's best driver, but anything has to be better than living with her parents. I understand. And traveling with a stranger, no problem. Anyway, how much trouble can one 80 year old be? As these women embark on the journey of a lifetime, they all discover it's never too late to start over. It is so cute. It is the perfect summer adventure. It is exactly what I was looking for. Honestly, out of all the books we got, besides Under the Whispering Door, this is the one I'm most excited about. It just sounds like such a fun, epic adventure about girlhood and traveling and just discovering yourself. It does remind me of um, the Traveling Pants movie. I never watched it and I never read the book. I believe it's based on a book, but it's just giving that same kind of vibe from what I know. <laughs> so we have four books from the library and five books from Barnes. So in all, we got nine books, which is much closer to what we usually do. And this makes me feel happy. So I'm very excited. I genuinely don't know where I'm gonna start. I do have to finish my March TBR still, but I think once we get into April, for real, I think I'm gonna start with this. And then this guy. And then maybe this guy. Or maybe this guy. No, I can't, I have to read the first one. Or maybe this girl. Or maybe I might sneak in this one, I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments below which book I should start with, but I love you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for hanging out with me and going to all the bookstores today. Mwah. Stay safe, drink your water, and I'll see you next time. See how I pretended to leave and then I had to go get the camera and then pretend like I didn't go get the camera? <laughs>